Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is a Monday, so it's meal prep day. I am so excited about these three recipes, like literally so excited. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find my recipe website. All three of today's recipes will be on my website along with every other recipe I've created here on my channel. You'll also find nutrition coaching. I highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. As you know, this is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, it's free, come join us, we'd love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen because I'm so excited for these three recipes. breakfast this week, I'm making a breakfast casserole. I wanted something that's packed with protein, packed with the veggies, pre-made, ready to go. All I have to do is slice it, warm it up, and I have a healthy breakfast. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need minced garlic, fresh or frozen spinach, some bread of your choice. I bought this several days ago, so it's getting kind of hard and crusty. That's exactly what I wanted was kind of a hard, crusty bread. You'll need milk of your choice. Of course, I'm using Fairlife for the added protein. Eggs, light shredded cheese, sliced mushrooms, green bell pepper, salt, pepper, and onion. Sausage of your choice. This is the turkey sausage from Jimmy Dean that I bought at Sam's Club. I'm just going to dice these up. You can also use ground sausage or Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. And then you're going to need some Italian seasoning as well. So I chopped up the sausage. Now mine is pre-cooked, but I am going to get it in the skillet, get it warming through. And then we're going to add in our chopped onion, green bell pepper, mushrooms, and spinach. So once your sausage is cooked or warmed through, we're going to add in our diced up bell pepper and onion. I did two full green bell peppers and that half of an onion. My lovely husband ate some of my mushrooms. It should be a whole container, but we're gonna add what we have. And then I'm also going to put in some spinach once this cooks down a little bit and I have a little bit more room, but you want everything to cook down and your spinach to wilt. So I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. I did chop up that entire loaf of bread. I'm going to add that to the bottom of a nine by 13 baking dish. Here is my mixture, sausage, bell peppers, onions, and spinach. And I'm going to just add that right on top of the bread. So here is what we're looking like. Let's go ahead and whisk together the eggs. So we're going to crack 12 eggs into a bowl. I'm just using the same bowl that I had the bread in. I added two thirds of a cup of Fairlife milk. I'm going to do salt, pepper, and my Italian seasoning. And then I'm gonna pop in just a little bit of minced garlic and whisk the eggs together until mixed. We're going to pour the egg mixture evenly on top. We're gonna cover our casserole with one cup of light shredded cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more salt and pepper on top. I'm going to pop this in the fridge for 30 minutes. We want the bread to be able to soak up all of the egg mixture. All right, it's been actually 45 minutes. I left it in the fridge for 30 and then set it out on my counter for about 15. We're going to put this into our 375 degree oven for 45 minutes uncovered. Just make sure everything is cooked through. Look at this amazing breakfast casserole. This looks so good. It looks like restaurant, like from a restaurant. I'm so excited for this. It is packed with protein, veggies. I mean, we snuck in mushrooms and bell peppers and you would never know it. And then you're getting a good carb with the bread. So I'll go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For lunch, I am making buffalo chicken spaghetti squash casserole. This is going to be 
loaded with protein. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need garlic powder and onion powder. I went ahead and pre-cooked my squash just so that it was cool and I'm able to shred it. I just sliced it in half, sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray, salt, pepper, baked it at 400 for about 40 minutes and it is ready to go. Like I said, I wanted it to be fully cooled. It makes it a lot easier to shred. You'll need one egg. I have diced chicken breast, light mozzarella cheese, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and Frank's red hot buffalo sauce. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my chicken cooking on the stove. You can use shredded or diced. This is already diced up, ready to go. And then I'm just going to shred my squash. I'm just going to shred it right here on the baking sheet. I promise if you cook it a little bit ahead and allow it to cool, it's so much easier. I always struggle with burning my hand or trying to hold the squash. And finally today I was like, girl, just cook in a little in advance. <laughs> let it cool, it'll be a lot easier to shred. And let me just tell you, this has changed my life because I love spaghetti squash. It's a bit of a pain to cook and shred, but this definitely helps a lot. While the chicken is cooking, I'm going to mix together the rest of my casserole. So I'm going to start with half of a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, half of a cup of Frank's buffalo sauce, garlic powder and onion powder. I did go ahead and salt and pepper my chicken, so I'm not going to add any additional salt and pepper to this. I'll taste it and if I need more, I will add it. But like I said, I did add salt and pepper to my chicken. I'm going to just mix this sauce up just a little bit. I'm going to add in my cooked chicken and then my cooked squash. I'm going to mix all of that together before I add in some cheese. And then I'm adding in a quarter cup of my light mozzarella and then giving that one more stir to fully mix. I'm going to transfer my mixture into a baking dish. You can use any size. I'm gonna use this round one because it has a lid, so it makes for easy storage. I get questions a lot about where I got this contain this baking dish. It is actually from Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of those. Like I said, I love it because it has a lid. So once it cools, I can pop the lid on and it's easy to store. And then I'm going to top it with the remaining quarter cup of light shredded mozzarella. We're popping this into a 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Oh my goodness, look at my buffalo chicken casserole oh my gosh you guys this looks amazing what a great alternative to pasta just using squash getting in the fiber a veggie that buffalo sauce lots of protein in the chicken and the cheese i am so excited for this it smells amazing i'll go ahead and put points calories macros here on the screen for you for a sweet treat this week i'm making pumpkin crumble bars i'm in my pumpkin era still i'm about done with it i'm moving on to peppermint and all the christmas flavors but i do want to one last time make a pumpkin recipe so let me show you what you'll need you're going to need vanilla extract flour of your choice you guys already know i'm using my fiber gourmet flour this has 55 percent less calories than regular flour 50 calories, 17 grams of fiber, four net carbs, and only 50 calories for a quarter cup. You guys, that's half the points, half the calories of regular flour, not to mention it has five grams of protein. So it is a great fiber protein flour. I believe Nutrition is still on their Black Friday sale through today. I'll link their website down below. Take advantage of it, get the Fiber Gourmet flour. All of the Fiber Gourmet products were on sale. I placed a huge, huge order, but I can't recommend this fiber enough, it this flour enough. It tastes just like regular flour. Bakes like regular flour, I'm literally obsessed with it. So I'm going to be using that. Fair Life Milk, of course, for a little extra protein. Sweetener of your choice, mine is Lakanto Granulated. Also love Lakanto. I do have a 15% off discount side white for them. I'll link it down below. Apple cider vinegar, unsweetened coconut flakes, baking soda. I'm using regular butter. You can certainly use light butter. I'm not trying, I'm really trying to stay away from light butter in general, so I'm just going to use regular. Salt and pepper, a couple of eggs, pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon, as well as pumpkin puree. So to get started on our bars, I'm adding a third cup of my fiber gourmet flour, pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. 
And then I'm going to just mix that together. I went ahead and set the flour mixture aside and in another bowl we're going to mix together one quarter cup milk, one third cup Lakanto granulated, two tablespoons melted butter, two eggs, a third cup of pumpkin puree, and some vanilla extract. And then I'm going to give that a stir to combine all of these ingredients. We're then adding the flour mixture in with the egg mixture and then stirring until combined. I have about an eight by eight baking dish. I'm going to spray it with nonstick cooking spray and then add in that pumpkin mixture. And then just spread that out evenly in the bottom of the pan. Now into that bowl that we had the flour mixture in, we're making our crumble topping. So I'm using half of a cup of my fiber gourmet flour, three tablespoons unsweetened coconut flakes, three tablespoons melted butter, two tablespoons Lakanto, and then about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm going to mix that together and that's going to create our crumble. And then we're going to sprinkle that right on top of the bars. Our bars are going into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until they're cooked through. Look at these pumpkin oat bars. You guys, this week's meal prep, I am so excited. Everything looks and smells amazing. Now my house smells like fall. All things pumpkin-y, spicy, I'm so stinking excited. Let me go ahead and put serving size points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I seriously cannot wait to eat them all week. In fact, I think I'm going to have the buffalo chicken casserole. Here comes the dog, of course, for lunch today. Don't forget all three recipes are on my recipe website. It is down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Palmer and Lola would also love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.